Hello everyone, welcome to Ultimate Diecast. My name is Tyrone and today something a little bit different. I haven't shown you any 1 to 32 scale before. And here are 10 to show you. This is a very obscure uh, model car manufacturer. It's called National Model Museum Mint. This is the first time I've ever come across this particular brand. They were very short-lived. Um, and as we meander through these 10 lovely models, um, we might get some hints as to why the company didn't last very long, unfortunately. But they are beautiful models. Uh, this set was a set of 12. I have 10 of them to show you. Uh, the set was, or the series was called Silver Age of Ford. Shall we take a look? Uh, this one is a 1964. Ford Galaxy 500 XL Fastback. So you've got a lot of opening and closing things. I'll just take you down a floor so you can get a, a good view. Sorry about that hand in the shot. Actually, my hands are always in the shot, aren't they? Um, opening parts, yes. The clothes lines, not the clothes lines, we're not here to do our laundry. The clothes lines are, um, well, see for yourself as we go. Lovely authentic steering wheel and gear change and dash. There's an amazing amount of detail on these. really really don't want to damage these in any way because they are borrowed nothing in the boot you can pop your miniature shopping in the boot groceries and your nikes whatever else you happen to <laughs> you happen to have bought passenger door i love the name fastback um, it's been around for donkey's years, but uh, yeah, it's funny to see big old, very inefficient cars being touted as sporty and sleek. Not by today's standards, but certainly by those standards of 1964. Almost forgot. Not a lot of uh, detail on the base of these. See if I can zoom in there for you. Arco Products, made in China, isn't everything. Uh, Ford Motor Company trademarks, fair enough. Yep. But yeah, those those gaps are in the door. Um, wouldn't really be acceptable these days, but I'm not sure when th this model was manufactured. But we'll give them a break. Second one I have to show you is the 1956 Ford Fair Crown two door. I'm not sure if that's a typo or this is a Fair Crown as opposed to either a Ford Crown Victoria, which I only know, or a um, Fair something else. Oh, looky there, Fair Lane. That's a very familiar name in Australia. So, not sure what the confusion confusion is there. What's that on the door? I didn't uh, bring my reading glasses because of the larger scale, but now I realise I perhaps should have. Does it open? Yep, it opens. Can't bring the camera closer to the car, so I'll bring the car closer to the camera. Lovely detail where there is detail. Like, look at that hood ornament. And there's a lot of weight to these. There's a lot of metal in them. Um, if something falls off during this video, I won't forgive myself. So I'll be very careful. We've seen open door, haven't we? So we'll go for the bonnet. Or will we? Ah, there you go. Not bad. A little bit of detail there. Bonnet stays up. Nice 
nice big slab of a thing. I'm not sure we're going to have the room on the table for all 10, but we'll soldier on. This is a 1954 Ford Custom Line Tudor. Um, it reminds me very much of a Ford Zephyr, the English made Zephyr. Certainly the same body shape, but um, if the two were to be put side by side, I'm sure this is about 30% bigger than the Ford Zephyr, at a guess. Big lump of a thing. Um, let's start opening and closing. It's what you do when you go to uh, an appliance shop, isn't it? Open all the doors and mess around with the buttons. Till the salesman politely tells you to buy something or leave. Hmm. I don't think I'd be a good salesman. I'd be uh, telling the customer about all the faults. Gotta watch this, the uh, hinges aren't made like they ought to be. What are the clothes lines on this? Hmm. Nice clear windows. I'll say that about it. I like the uh, low slung stance. Look at that. Not sure about the colour. Reminds me of butterscotch custard, but good looking car. Um, so the fourth one, 1955 Ford Thunderbird. Probably don't have to say Ford, do I? Because they're all Fords. Such an iconic car. What a beauty. Almost tempted to use that little chrome door handle, but uh, I know better. Even I know better. Hmm. Classic red and white with those lovely chrome spoked wheels. No airbags back then. The uh, dashboard was made out of metal and so was the steering wheel. <laughs> and the, this one doesn't have seatbelts, I'm not sure if the rear one did either. Crazy concept, but uh, I know the automotive industry fought very hard not to get um, seat belts for as long as they could. They knew they were going to be compulsory at some point, but they invested a lot of money to delay it. 1958 Ford Fairlane 500 Town Sedan. You want something zippy and two-doorish to zip around town, don't you? Why not buy this? Huh. Second Fairlane, apparently, although this one wasn't labelled as such, but certainly is on the license plate. I like the blue of this. But, um, oh, it's a bit of polystyrene dust. They're not dead birds, I promise you. In 132 scale. Uh, that roof seems plastic. It is plastic. But um, still very weighty item. We'll open the driver's door. Let the pretend 1 to 32 person climb in. I can almost guarantee there were no seatbelts at all in this thing. Maybe not any of them. But yeah. These colours feel like um, they sort of portray a, a happier time after the Second World War, I think. That's my impression anyway. Everything was devil may care. Um, next side of the room. This one is peculiar to me. It is a 1963 Ford Falcon Futura, Futura two-door. Um, I saw one of these on my travels through Santa Barbara in 2011. And I suppose it would have been a 63 or very similar. It was mint, like this one. I think it was a white one. I think I have a photo of it somewhere. And I thought, what's that Australian Falcon doing here? And then I saw the differences. There are many differences, but there are many visual cues to trick on a glance. Lovely blue. Lovely car. And uh, we'll go along with the opening the driver's door only, because I'm nervous. Nothing swings open and closed on these, but that's all right. 
it won't say I go up in either. Shall we go for the boot? Yeah, hardly any reward for doing that versus the risk. Put that down gently and we'll put it over there. Don't worry if it's out of shot because we'll do a pan around. Now look at this sucker. It's a 1958 Edsel Citation. Edsel was the son of Henry, wasn't he? Or grandson? Not sure. Um, where are we? 58. Be the son, wouldn't he? Um, mm. I don't know, man. Tudor? This, even to hold, this weighs a substantial amount. And, uh, yeah. Can you see why that didn't go well? Nobody bought this, did they? And open up things. Hopefully they'll sit. They didn't put any colour on that engine, but there is indeed an engine there. Probably runs very well. I'll never know. The boot. Let's have a look. Cool lights. And the driver's door. Oops, oh Jesus. Oh dear. <laughs> now, I was told that some things may fall off but they go back on. So, fingers crossed ladies and gentlemen. Oh, thank God for that. And don't touch it. It's made me really quite nervous about the others to show you, but we'll power on. <laughs> It's like having a sore thumb, isn't it? You try and protect it and you knock it on everything. So I'll shuffle that off to the side, pretend that didn't happen. We'll edit that out. We'll edit that out. Now this one, it's a 1957 Ford Skyliner convertible. If the label on that is to be believed, it's certainly 1957. Um, I'm showing away from opening anything now. But uh, kind of funky paint job. Something about the contrast in colours, isn't there? Imagine leaping into that on a hot day. Whether it's leather or vinyl, it doesn't matter. It does the same thing, doesn't it? Yep. White walls on black steelies almost, with the hubcap in the middle. Really nice combo. So pop that over there, out of harm's way. We've got a Woody 1946 Ford Club Convertible Sportsman. What kind of sports would you play if you owned one of these? Russian roulette with the doors, seeing as it's not mine. Yeah, that centre chrome piece is the horn, isn't it? Should we open this? I'll even use the handle. No, God, that, no, 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 I do <laughs> You break it, you buy it, boy. Okay, we'll attempt fate and, oh, that's reluctant. Look at the massive hinge on that door. That means business. Maybe they started making them small and they kept on snapping and they just had to beef it up more and more until they got it right. Did I tell you this company wasn't uh, in business for very long. Bit of chrome detail on the engine. It's kind of funky. I like the mirror too. We'll swing around and take a look at that. Look at that. Hmm. It's got character. That's what they say about a weird house when they're trying to sell it to you. It's got character. The tenth and final one is a 1962 Thunderbird Roadster. See how I dropped the name Ford? Because they're all Fords. And I'll put that... Uh, no, we'll do a shuffle around just before I do the end shot. This is such an iconic shape, isn't it? I'll open up this. Get a squizzy. Hmm, that's cool. That's really cool. Not sure if the aerial is supposed to be pointing that way. I promise you I did not do that. 
See the clothes lines? The door doesn't quite match the body. Nice. You see these now and again at car shows, don't you? They make a lovely noise. Can open up the passenger's door. Seeing as I'm not going to open it. Oh, we'll, we'll give the boot a crack. Probably shouldn't use the word crack when it comes to other people's models. Oh, that's right, I was told about this. It opens funky because it's supposed to house the roof. There you go. Ooh. A gasp and a sigh of relief as I put the tenth one down. Brilliant. Let's go upstairs and have a look, and then we'll do a bit of a shuffle round. So I hope you enjoyed the Silver Age of Ford in 1 to 32 scale. What a strange uh, scale. Well, strange to me, it might be uh, your preferred collectible. You can see the appeal. Almost got the Edsel in shot, so we'll do a little pan around. See that massive Edsel. Lovely. What do you think? Is it something you collect? Is it a manufacturer you've heard of? National Motor Museum Mint. Strange. In 132. Hope you enjoyed the show, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.